is living in your overdraft really that bad? A few months ago I made an end of year resolution. By the time I'm 30, that'll be in March, I don't want to ever be in my overdraft. Unless I lose my mind again and buy multiple velvet suits for myself in which case it's totally justified. I sat down with myself and said that as a 30-year-old woman, I should, you know, have some money. It's been nine years since I graduated and in that time I've only had two prolonged periods when the arrival of my paycheck didn't hoist me out of the depths of the red and momentarily into the black for around seven days or so, and these were both times when I was holding down two jobs. I've been fortunate enough to always be employed, so why is this the case? It's never massively bothered me, and it struck me that I hear about people being in their overdraft all the time without batting an eyelid. It's nothing to my generation. We expect to be poor. We sort of see our overdraft as our own money, and think that not being in it is a bonus. I've realized that thanks to my omnipresent overdraft I've essentially gone through my 20s with little of my own money. That feels like a cause for concern. And yet, when lamenting my inability to escape the pit of my overdraft to a friend, she looked at me in disbelief dash I don't know why you're bothered, she said. There is £1,500 sitting there for when you need it, for you to use, and you only get charged a maximum of £20 for using it even though it's not your money. It's the world's best loan. I laughed, but then paused. She had a point. I've never had a credit card, my only loan is my student loan, and we all know I'll have to pass that down to my children when I die. So, all things considered. It could be worse. Doing a straw poll of my friends and the wonderful, varied world of Twitter, I noticed a substantial generational divide in attitudes towards overdrafts. People around my age, 29, and younger were offered huge overdrafts by banks hoping to entice school leavers into opening their student bank account with them, knowing they'll probably never change it. In hindsight those 10 free CDs from CDWow.com might not have been the best financial investment I've ever made or been swayed on. But when I surveyed the middle-aged people in my life, parents and a couple of their mates, they unanimously reacted as if I'd just asked them if it was okay that I had a pretty serious gambling problem. Never been in it, would never want to be in it was the most common response. We asked a bunch of people what they think about being in their overdraft. Here's what they said. Never in my overdraft for more than a week if I can help it, I can't stand feeling like things are spiraling. I would beg borrow steel or eBay my possessions to get out of it. Dash Joanne, 32. I genuinely thought I never cared even slightly about being in my overdraft from day one of being paid after payday. Until I wasn't anymore. And then I realized that it had been gently, but relentlessly, stressing me out for the entirety of my twenties. I honestly found it harder to get out of my overdraft than I did to pay off my student loan. The overdraft was a massive effort to get rid of. It's like quicksand. Death to overdrafts. Dash Jemima, 33. I think my bank charged me £25 per month to be in it and have access to £2,000. I think it's totally worth it if you need the money. Just don't go over your overdraft limit. The bank calculates your overdraft allowance to what you should be able to cope with. Paula, 30. I've been in mine, it doesn't bother me. I see it as money that will eventually be there. Plus the fees are so cheap that it was convenient to me at the time. Dash Michael, 29. I used to live in mine but the bank kept reducing it as I continually went over my limit and it forced me to use credit instead. My overdrafts are small now. I don't panic about it though, as I've got money coming in regularly. Dash Alex, 35. I've never been in mine and would never want to be. Dash Ann, 62. My policy has always been can't afford it, don't buy it. So I've never had one, or a credit card. Dash Jeff. 65. In the few times that I let slip to my parents that I'm in my overdraft they react as if I might be living on the streets within the month and start prepping my old room in time for me to move in and have a nervous breakdown. But when you're in your overdraft every month, it becomes entirely normal. 
My parents' generation were brought up with the mentality that if you can't afford it, 